See, the, the folks that are just watching the YouTube playlist, they're not going to have any idea how long I made y'all wait in between those two recordings. Like, I know I told you all that it would be right after. I'm sorry for the five-hour wait. That was a joke. <laughs> if they're really smart, as soon as I get out of the, the PowerPoint, they'll look at the clock on the bottom and go, he was lying. It was only. <laughs> All right. So same announcements as before. Y'all know the drills. Everybody clear on deadlines and timelines when stuff's due, how to submit everything. Everybody good on that? Okay. All right. So. Okay, so exam three. Okay, so uh, the exam will be closed book, closed notes. Y'all know the drill. Um, this this PowerPoint, uh, I think, will be turned on on Blackboard within the next like twenty minutes or something. It's it's uploaded. I, I think I said it to turn on at two o'clock. Um, <coughs> the exam is going to be proctored. I'm not going to be there. Okay, so so Patrick's going to be the one who's uh, uh, who's there. So um, you can use, you can put whatever you want on the formula sheet except for worked out examples. I'm going to have you all turn your formula sheets in. Um, as for areas of coverage, it's lecture notes five through seven. So I know there's like seven A and seven B, so there's all that. Uh, homework number six, homework number seven, and then lab number ten because that was the steel lab. Um, I am going to have one set of conceptual questions and then I don't know if I'm going to have two or three questions. I, I haven't made the exam yet. But what I will tell you is this. I'm, what I'm not going to do is say, well, they only had an hour and a half on the other exams. They got two hours here, so I'm going to put six problems on there. I'm not doing that. I don't, I don't typically do that in general. This is just another exam to me. So it, it's, just, it's going to be pretty much the same format and timeline and schedule as all the others. So don't I don't think well it's two hours so I'm gonna do this I, I'm not gonna do that it's gonna be the same same style of exam um, now <coughs> uh, let's talk about what's on the exam um, let's see so structural steel and aluminum now I can tell you the answers <laughs> um, make sure that you demonstrate an understanding of the steel production process that you understand various steel properties so what are some mechanical properties? What's the deal with carbon content? What's the deal with corrosion, uh, et cetera? Make sure that you can identify cross-sectional elements and designations. If I give you a W10 by 49, what does the 10 mean? What does the W mean? What does the 49 mean, uh, et cetera? Make sure you demonstrate an understanding of the different connection methodologies that we use with steel. What's a bearing type connection? What's a slip critical connection? What's a welded connection? Um, make sure you know fundamental properties associated with rebar. What's the deal with the number seven rebar? How, how, what's the diameter of it? Um, make sure you can compute representative properties. If I give you load deflection data, make sure that you can compute properties associated with that. Um, you know, e, FY, FU, offsets, et cetera. I forgot a subscript there. That's going to bug me. But. Um, timber and wood. Make sure that you understand the structure of wood, the structural features of trees. That is totally left over from a, from a previous set of uh, now that I am fixing, because that, like the rings, the, the um, you know, what are the, um, uh, you, know, you know, early wood versus late wood, et cetera. Um, make sure that you can use uh, moisture conditions to uh, compute shrink and swell characteristics. You all have that on your homework assignment uh, due on Tuesday, so you'll, you'll get some, uh, you'll get some ex uh, exposure to that. Um, make sure you can identify uh, common applications of wood and then the production method. So like, you know, a two by four is not two inches by four inches. There's the uh, surfacing that's done. Make sure you can compute board feet for a given set of lumber and that you can characterize defects uh, in wood. Um, for asphalt, make sure you can identify and characterize the three types of asphalt, common failure mechanisms. Make sure you can classify based on performance grades and on temperature measurements. You can identify the three methods of mixed design, and you can perform associated density and void analyses uh, with given measurements. So that is the area of coverage on your exam. Now, it's your turn. Questions? Yes? Can I go over how to compute board feet? Um, 
What's that? Now. Nah. Oh my goodness. What's that? Tell you what, why don't I why don't I do you one better? Why don't I come up with an example and I'll upload it? Like an actual written example and, and post it. Because literally, I mean all you're doing is taking your measurements and multiplying them and, and dividing the units out. I, I, I it's literally just volume. So Yes, that is a board foot. Just 12 by 12 and one inch thick. Okay, that is lectureception because we have <laughs> we have a lecture inside of a lecture. Which, by the way, I can't stand the sound of my own voice, so please turn that off. <laughs> <laughs> Again, you all are stuck with me for a long time. <laughs> Your strategy is not very smart. <laughs> so, you're, are you a chess player? Are you good? <laughs> Start with 2D. <laughs> the little apps, you know, where you have the little challenge, you know, the one move challenge. Like, try that one first. Oh, goodness. Um, mm -hmm. And, <coughs> yeah, but now, don't get all scared when I say this, but I mean, there is the potential that, you know, some very basic fundamental stress calculations. Like, for instance, um, Let's say I give you sigma equals P over A. Here's, here's a good example, okay, if you, if, you, if you want this. Sigma equals P over A, okay? Now let's say I take a, a two by four and I put 500 pounds in tension on it. What's the stress? Is it 500 pounds divided by two times four? No, it's 500 pounds divided by one and a half times three and a half. You, you see what I mean? What I'm getting at is I might throw some very basic fundamental mechanics in there, but the idea is more to see if you understand that the area isn't two inches times four inches, that it's one and a half times three and a half. Do you see what I mean? It's not a trick question. That's I could. I'm not, but <laughs> good try. <laughs> good effort. Any, anything? I mean, this is your time. I want to make sure that you all have your uh, the ability to have your questions addressed. I mean, yes, sir. I mean, very similar to what I've done on the previous tests in here. Um, I think I've had on the order of like six to eight on previous tests, and it's probably going to be something very similar. Again, I'm not going to take this test and go, oh, well, I've got an extra half hour. I'm going to throw an extra half hour's worth of material on there, because that's extra half hour's worth of material that I have to grade. And That's what I'm saying. I, I don't want to do that. So it's multiple guess and fill in the blanks? Nope. No. No. I will not do that. If I if I teach civil engineering materials for 500 people, then we might explore the use of the scantron. But but. That was um. It's nice of you to volunteer. You'll need the test in advance, of course, right? <laughs> Again, let's go back to that chest strategy. I'm just kidding. Yes, sir. Um, with like the whole isotropic versus anisotropic. Yes. Um, field isotropic versus anisotropic. Do we also have to know the orthotropic? I'd like. I mean, you might want to know what that means. So, what does orthotropic mean? I know it's similar to anisotropic. I don't know yes. If that difference is. Orthotropic is basically referring to. 
uh, material that has different properties at 90 degree orientations. Wood is really orthotropic because you have different properties this way and then different properties radially. It's not quite orthotropic, but a lot of times we kind of tend to treat it that way. So. How are we feeling about the exam? You've played the at-home game? But this is, you, you, you've also, like an engineer, made some assumptions associated with your final homeworks and... So, so you apply a factor of safety? See, there you go. We're learning other engineering applications. And all sorts of... Also <laughs> Well, and, and let me also say this, to be honest, that's kind of a, a very common trend with a construction materials course, because it's a lot of just stuff, you know, stuff you got to know. Yes, sir. You mean like a stress strain curve problem? It's very possible. I'm not going to, I mean, you don't have Excel, and I understand that, but I may give you, let's say, a stress strain curve and have you interpret key characteristics from it, or I might give you some representative data and have you, you know, figure some stuff out. I can't have you do what you did on the homework assignment uh, on the exam, but I can give you some portion of it. That's, that's very possible. What's that? It's very possible. It didn't say very likely. I said very possible. So it's very, might happen, might not. It was kind of intended to be. <laughs> so maybe the last 15 minutes of the test could be a uh, Hail Mary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> when I prompt it, you guys can do whatever. <laughs> <laughs> now, for those of you that are here, don't leave just yet because I still got this on I want to do. But. Um, <coughs> Any other questions? All right, please, this, this is your time. I want to make sure that, that your time is being used and spent accordingly. Y'all feel great about the exam, right? Anything else you can think of? All right, all right hold on. Before you leave, hold, I got two things. Number one, good. That was pretty good. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. <laughs> are you all good? Are she, are she, are you good? Are you? <laughs> what caught you there? Y'all good? <laughs> oh, I'm having fun making this exam. <laughs> Y'all good? Okay, all right, all right. I need a volunteer. <laughs> you know what? I feel like I should pick somebody else. It doesn't matter. I just, here's what I need. I need somebody to take these evaluations, put them in this envelope, and just, just give them to me. Of course, don't put your name on it, so. You're gonna, it doesn't matter, so y'all can figure it out. Um, here, here's the deal. So. Just so you all are aware, um, I, I just have each of the outcomes for the class just rank one to five, one disagree, five agree, y'all know the deal. I did cross out the last one because we didn't do composites. Also, this class is, is uh, used for um, ABET measurement. It's uh, used to measure ABET outcome B, which is the one for designing and conducting experiments. Obviously makes sense with this class, so, so on and so forth. And if you got any comments about the material, about what should be covered, et cetera, let me know. Um, again, confidential, so don't put your name on. Um, I'm going to set this, I'll pass this out before, before I leave. Um, other than that, one, one quick thing. So um, this is it. 
this is our last meeting uh, of civil engineering materials that, that I'll be here for. Again, your, your exam will be proctored. This is my first time teaching this class, as you remember. It's been uh, an adventure. Um, <laughs> that's for sure. But it's been a lot of fun. Um, I've had a blast. I hope you all have as well. Uh, with this, I'm getting the feeling some of, some of you did. <laughs> I do remember the time that, that uh, I was physically threatened during lab. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I mean, this was the semester that the Twitter account actually happened, you know? I started out in Okay, okay, all right, all right. So, in all honesty, also, this is my first experience actually having what I would call a real lab. I mean, I've taught land surveying before, but I don't consider that a lab, you know, because you're just going out and measuring. This was like getting aggregates together and, and, and then rolling with the punches, finding out that the sand got water in it. And <laughs> But, but in all seriousness, I've had a lot of fun. I hope you all have had a lot of fun. I usually say something at this time like, I hope to see you all in class again. That's probably going to happen. So, <laughs> so um, let's just say this. I'm pr I know probably, I'm pretty much going to have everybody in this class again next semester. So um, if I don't have you in structural analysis, um, I will see you, of course, in January. Uh, or maybe I'll see you in January. Um, and if I do have you in structural analysis, I'll see you tomorrow. So, um, all right, that's all I got. I will see you all uh, around. So if you need anything, you've got my contact info. All right. <laughs>